<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, October 12th, 2011. I'm Darko. Uh, this is my website. If you'd like to check it out, it's ggnonline.com. That's www.ggnonline.com. Also, you can check out GGN on um, YouTube and it's ddarko2012. That's ddarko2012. Um, I'll go through uh, quickly. Um, also, you can put in your email and you can get any updates from uh, GGN's website. Also, I have a news archive right here. It goes back a few years. And also, I have a new poll. And uh, you can go in there and check that out and vote. It says here, do you believe the Occupy Wall Street protests will succeed in convincing government and Wall Street officials to meet their demands? So far, 50% of voters say no, and they're followed by uh, maybe, which is 26%. Uh, there's four days left to vote on that. And I will cover uh, an article um, from naturalnews.com. Um, basically uh, reiterating what I said in my last set of videos about the Wall Street protests and what I think um, uh, the direction I th what I think the direction is going to be for that um, quote movement okay so the first article we have is I'm going to cover the um, economy like I normally do so you can go in there and check that out it says UK unemployment total reaches 17 year high so UK unemployment rose by 114,000 between June and August and 17-year uh, high, according to official figures, it says that uh, unemployment rate also increased to 8.1%. I'm not sure if that's how it is, uh, if, if it's the same in uh, England as it is in the U.S., um, where it's not actually the true unemployment rate that people are actually without work. Um, moving on here, and of course, that's the figure that uh, officials like to use because, well, it just uh, looks a lot better, right? It's good for business. Uh, keeps them in, uh, uh, keeps them, uh, you know, elect getting elected. Uh, unfortunately, it says here, Challenger September 2011 layoffs biggest in more than two years. Just more uh, news on that. Uh, green taxes could force one and four. Uh, in And it says here it, that's if the government pursues controversial green energy targets, ministers have been warned. And I've covered this before about the news in Britain. Um, they call it petrol, but their gasoline prices have been high. Also, their natural gas for their heating has been um, uh, very high as well. Radical policy change may be necessary to protect millions of struggling families from big, biggest household price shocks since the 1970s, according to city analysis. And it's funny because back then they were actually saying there was going to be an ice age. And of course, eventually there will be an ice age. Um, but they were just using that as the same scare, fear mongering uh, tactic that's being used right now in the name of climate change and saving the planet. planet. And of course, they're, um, what is in the wings? What is the solution? It is a carbon tax. And um, lo and behold, Australians go ahead and, uh, and, and jump, uh, jump off the edge here and commit suicide, according to this article. And they passed their carbon tax. And it's been uh, 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 what is a hotly debated topic over there. Um, and it says here, one of the worst aspects of living in these apocalyptic times is whenever you look around the world wondering where you might escape to, you begin to realize that everywhere else is just as bad, if not worse. Now, this, that's really weird. I mean, this is a mainstream article, and uh, uh, there's a lot of people in, um, I guess you'd call it alternative media, and we feel this way. This is kind of a consensus right now. There's nowhere to really turn. Even if you want to go to the woods, you're going to be messed with by the state. You're going to have... Uh, uh, fascist park rangers, uh, you know, going down emergency, uh, uh, you know, trails and routes, uh, trying to, you know, tracking you down and, 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 and uh, handcuffing you and fining you and, you know, just basically there's nowhere to escape. There's nowhere to go. There's tyranny everywhere. Nobody's free. You know what I mean? Uh, so, I mean, even the Amish people get uh, raided for selling raw milk. Uh, recently, I covered how the Amish got uh, uh, actually arrested because they fa failure, a failure to comply with putting up one of those um, reflectors in the back of their carriages, the orange. And another example, a real good example, unfortunate, tragic example, is uh, Tibetan monks. And I should hopefully uh, get to that video and uh, the third uh, set of videos here. But uh, yeah, the, you have those monks over there, and um, even when they uh, burn themselves, they call it self-immolation, you know, um, is, a, is like basically like a hunger strike. It's the most radical form of uh, protest. 
and they actually get charged for doing it like they're like they're committing a crime it's like these guys uh you know killed themselves and then other guys get a, uh a go, go to jail for aiding in that because these people did that so um i'm going to move on here but you can go in there and check that out i mean and there's going to be a lot of news covering this because australians like i said they're not really for it but you know it doesn't really matter because this isn't democracy and most people may uh you know these property taxes and that are going to pay for these uh re-education camps where you know you're just basically born into the system i know alan watt uses that term but it's a good term it's a good term to use a good phrase because it describes it perfectly you were born into the system and you have to go through school uh, the school system in order to be taught how what reality is so you don't actually see what reality is you see their reality and it's horrible it's hell and that's why a lot of people try to escape it with drugs alcohol meditation whatever it is but uh, young people are going to be taught that uh, all around the world of course that they're they're living in a democracy that that they that they can vote for their tribal leaders and that their tribal leaders are going to represent them and that they are accountable for their actions. Well, in reality, these people uh, that a lot of those people that actually move up into the system, uh, especially in Europe and that, they're not raised the same way that these same people that are paying these property taxes and going to these re-education re camps are getting. Um, they're being taught that this is a dictatorship. This is, uh, this is not about uh, freedom or democracy. This is a dictatorship. And uh, it's not a free economy. This is a totally controlled economy. And um, I'm talking com a completely different set of principles and his set of history. So they get the real history. Anyways, I'm going to keep moving here. But, of course, the slaves have to, you know, and I use that word only because a lot of people, they just, they just work and they work and, they, and then they pay their taxes and they die. And it's over with. And that's what's going to keep going unless people just kind of wake up and see what's going on here. Um, that they're being basically used like in the matrix like little batteries um but uh yeah so it says here proposals uh, requires property owners to secure and here's the article i actually thought the other one was going to be it because it was the same news source but i'll just go into this one uh property tax bills anger cook county homeowners and it says it's up 27 percent so if they paid 6400 last year this year they're going to pay 8100 it's coming due november 1st i believe but it says a uh, sticker shock in the mail tax bills went out to cook county homeowners this week and the big jumps in the amount due to many homeowners has some wondering if they can keep their house and um yeah and it says here um that the dramatic jump in property tax bill is affecting people and uh, they're of course are going to tell you what you can do about it well you can stop supporting the state and you won't have to pay this but you know this is the thing this it gets uh, pretty sticky you know as far as property rights go um, you can be someone that uh, believes in property rights in a stateless society or you can go along with more of an indigenous route where you believe in a stateless society um, but you don't really believe in or support um, actual owning the earth you know what i mean you die you, you can't take it with you so you don't really own it i mean i'm sorry that's gonna it, that, that kind of like just crushes a lot of people's hopes and dreams about owning property but the fact is, is you can't take it with you you know what i mean so um that's my philosophy and um but anyways with this uh property tax here i wanted to uh, point out here this kind of the weird thing that goes on uh with these property taxes and that is uh, uh you know Oh, it's based off housing values and stuff like that. And uh, you know, I heard someone say that. Oh, well, they got to increase the property taxes. You know, and and it doesn't make sense. You know, this is what I heard. Uh, it doesn't make sense because you know the 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 housing values are going down. They're not even going up. And I and I told this individual, this person, I'm like, well, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Because uh, you you have a house, and I've explained this before. But for new listeners, you may appreciate this uh, this ex you know this this uh, this way of uh, explaining this. Uh, scam I guess it is is that you buy this house and you pay all this interest to these banks and if you're lucky you'll actually live long enough to actually own it but otherwise that house is on rented property it's on rented land of the state and so you pay a rental fee to put your house on that property that's called a property tax you don't own the actual property unless you have a lodial title so it doesn't really matter what the housing value is they're just going to increase it not because it has anything to do with the housing value, but because the state needs more money. Just like um, 
smoking tax it's not because more people are smoking it's because or they care about your health the state is that is um it's because they need more revenue cops start pulling people over um especially towards the end of the month you know that and of course they deny it but it's true um they need more revenue they need to pull in more rate has nothing to do with the actual purpose for which the law or code was enacted it has nothing to do with that but to collect revenue and once you realize that you realize that the state is nothing but a big corporation a revenue collector and you gotta wonder where's this money going towards because it's not going towards the things that you know were promised like all these things about the roads you gotta have roads well if you look around the entire country most of the roads i'm gonna say most not the major federal interstates because that like was taken from the Nazis, from Eisenhower, for the military to travel. So that has to be good. Talking about your local roads, that's why they're all shitty. They're all shitty. And you're promised good roads. you got to have the roads. Without a government, you ha you can't have roads. Well, you have shitty roads and you have a government. They can't even do that. So either way, I'm going to keep moving here. Um, it's just nice to be able to talk and elaborate here finally after being held back uh, with uh, such t so many technical issues. Government to introduce new 170-pound death tax. I can go in there and check that out. And uh, it says here, but uh, let me see, funerals are already expensive enough. Funeral directors fee pallbearers, hearse, flowers, and that. Um, but it says here, now there's another one direct from the government. And before the family can say goodbye, for those who can remember back to uh, last year, Tories got very animated about labor plans for a $20,000 or pound death tax to fund national uh, carers. But 170 pounds is a bit less than uh, 20. So I'm going to keep moving here. This is big news. China goes to TradeCon 2, warns currency uh, bill will inevitably lead to serious damage in uh, China-U.S. trade relations. This is from the Ministry of Commerce from China's actual website, the People's Online, I believe. Um, but it says here that this is a serious violation of international rules and uh, not only threatens the stable development of the Sino-U.S. economic trade relations, but also uh, with other countries to jointly cope with challenges runs counter to efforts to oppose trade protectionism. China is... And so this is complete bullshit because it says here U.S. Senate has approved a controversial bill which threatens to punish China, bad China, for uh, letters allege manipulation of currency because what? Well, the U.S. manipulates currency. We're the biggest manipulators of currency. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, with the Federal Reserve System and that uh, rigging interest rates. So, I don't think I need to say more, but basically this was uh, talking about the 2011 Oversight Reform Act of Currency Exchange Rate, and that was uh, Shen Dangyang, a spokesman for the Ministry of Commerce, that issued that statement that I reported on Europe urged to adapt new Asian economic order and it says here uh, actually I'm going to move on you can go check but just briefly yeah it basically goes in there and talks about uh, uh, it's all about defining a new way for Europeans to come and help and work together more than assisting in a traditional way and um, Europe has to adapt itself into the new rhythm of the global world which means what the brave new world, the new world order, the new economic order. Ultimately, it's about six, almost seven billion serfs, slaves, all marching to the same step. <laughs> Pretty scary, but rules for a new world order. So there actually, there actually are rules for this new world order. You can go in there and check that out. Most, if not all, the links will be posted, unless, of course, I have technical difficulties like I did last time. So just hope and pray. So, of course, this goes in there and talks about World War II and about how basically the powers that be, the movers and shakers, the Bank of International Settlements, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, all those people that had their little fingers and money and all that invested in both sides of the war, just like they did, um, you know, basically when they bought out Britain, um, with the Napoleonic War and that, uh, saying that, oh, uh, Napoleon had won when it actually had lost, and basically everyone uh, lost their investments in England, and Rothschild came in and swooped in and bought over bought the entire country. Um, but, you know, so a lot of things happened, and they experimented with two different systems, like I talked about last time. But it goes in there and talks about the new system. Now they have to deal with these emergency emerging powers, um, and, of course, they have to vaccinate them, and then they have to redistribute wealth from the, quote, developed rich nations like the U.S., where unemployment around 20 percent and uh, basically falling apart at the seams as we speak and um, take that money and give it to these developing nations nah, it's not it's not a utopia at all and um, it sucks because we're living in it right now 
it's not really anything that's coming down the road. It's already here. We've already been living in it. This is Gigi and I'm Darko. Thanks.